resource for this information because it is getting very interesting out there in the social media world. But I think the audience needs to understand just how all this started and who was really behind it. Because uh, we know social media is owned by the left. Silicon Valley company started this. They built it. We understand that Jack and, uh, and uh, Mark Zuckerberg are really just more puppets for the globalist, globalists. Excuse me. But Obama had a hand in this. So why don't you take us back to Obama and the shadow net? So um, from 2007 to 2010, I was working for Obama's national security advisor. I really started on a contract in Iraq in, in mid in, in October of 2007. All right. So I spent a year over there. Um, I communicated daily with uh, Jim Jones, General Jones's son. He was the president of the company and we helped build this capability. When we when the contract ended, we lost the, the contract in a rebid. I went back to Tampa and continued the work. That was like January 2009. So right as Obama is going into office, and as um, uh, General Jones is taking position as his national security advisor, I'm moving with Dynology um, to a contract in Tampa, basically expanding on the, um, uh, the, the what we call the shadow net. Um, that, was, that was a commercial uh, for it. That was the, the commercial, uh, like on the marketing slick and such. Right, and that was the commercial name for the technology yeah, no you guys were using. Or anything. No code names here. The shadow net was the commercial aspect of it because we kept the intellectual property rights for it and made it commercially available. And in fact, I discussed with General Jones's son um, the different capability, different potential. You know, we it was incredibly a powerful tool. It helped bring the Sunni and it helped keep the Sunni and Shia together um, to work with us against AQI during what was called the Sahwa, the Awakening. Right, so AQI we had, being Al Qaeda, uh, Al Qaeda in Iraq. Yeah, sorry right. for the acronyms. No worries. He would have killed me if I used acronyms. So, uh, <laughs> Al Qaeda in Iraq. <laughs> he uh, uh, so Al Qaeda in Iraq um, uh, uh, was a common enemy that we gave them. Right. Sure. And they worked with it. It's like never happened before. This is in a millennia that something like this has happened between <laughs> these. How did you do it, though, Patrick? I mean, how do you get the Sunni and the Shia, which have been at war for thousands of years, how did you get them to work together to fight al-Qaeda? Because that was very revolutionary at the time. Uh, we give them a common enemy. Right. right? Uh, Al-Qaeda in Iraq, AQI, was killing Americans. They were killing Sunnis, and they were killing Sh uh, Shias. Um, so we helped maintain. That was actually the, the Sahawa, the awakening, actually be, uh, was started with by the army a little bit before we got there and we helped uh, and for sure uh, the four psychological operations group who we supported there um, uh, uh, helped maintain that helped build that and then we continued it on to the point where really a lot of people say that we had a very big impact on reducing the um, fighting and violence in Iraq enough for Obama to be able to pull out in 2009 our small team but what was this? Were you dropping pamphlets in the air? Were you tweeting at them? What was the actual mechanism that you were using in order to get into their heads and psychologically influence them to believe they were fighting a common enemy? So this is uh, late 2007. The iPhone had just been released, right? So okay. social media was just becoming a thing. In fact, um, Facebook and Twitter, or Twitter, I don't know if it's but Facebook wasn't even allowed. It was banned on DOD networks. We'll go into that later. It was really started. It was it was allowed in about 2010, and I think it was a horrible idea, going in line with the Smith Munt Act uh, modernization. But um, the people that were the, the the DoD and like Facebook being able to use those tools were things that we wanted to be able to do. All right, so we called that wanting the keys of the kingdom. Our hands were tied. Right. So we had to follow laws according to the Smith Munt Act. Right. And our hands were always tied, but we did a good job. We had a huge influence and a huge impact. Um, but in that video, I think I, that you I hope you were able to see um, uh, we, of our team in Iraq. Uh, it was I, I named it the keys of the kingdom. And in that you'll see that it was like a joke with us. You know, we were constantly struggling. Anything that we do, any creative idea. I can't even say what these ideas that I, myself and my team came up with, but they were really good, right? Um, but you want to use these and you can't, or 
you have to go through two or three attorneys to be able to get permission to be able to do it. Well, we just wanted the freedom to be able to have the keys of the kingdom to be able to, to really make that impact. So essentially you're using an iPhone or some sort of uh, data compatible phone to push information out into... Uh, no, 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 no. no. Um, we were just using... That was when the iPhones came out. Uh, we were using... Very careful when I say this, right? So mm -hmm. we... There are, there are COVID and there are overt. You've got Voice of America, right? Which is an, an, uh, uh, an overt propaganda of America. Okay. And you have other... Right. That would be covert means of of psychological warfare. We were tasked really with bringing uh, from from turning the force psychological operations group from dropping flyers from planes to social media psychological warfare. Right. Right. I can't go into anything specific about that. And actually, I'll kind of like shift uh, from there to the commercial. Right.